Hello blogosphere, this is Jonathan, blogging your passion. And early on in my blogging career a few years ago, one of the struggles that I had that I didn't even realize I had the struggle was copying and pasting content. And basically what I would do is I would either be typing up my blog post in Microsoft Word or even in Google Docs and then I would just highlight, copy, and then paste it directly into WordPress. And at times I saw that the font was different and sometimes the spacing was different, but I just chose to move on and ignore it. And then after a while it began to increasingly become a problem. And finally I discovered that Microsoft Word actually has a good number of code that it pastes in that you don't normally see. In fact, if I were to grab a, some text out of a Microsoft Word document and paste it directly into this side in WordPress and then tab over to the HTML side I would see a lot of extra code that's um, placed in there. And that can be a problem. So um, there are two buttons that you can use and then, and then I'll show you what I actually do. But if I were to um, I've got a blog post right here and I actually have been using uh, this new cool software called Yarny, yarny.me is the web address if you want to check it out. I'm using it to write my my book that I'm currently working on. But I'm also using it for writing blog posts for different blogs that I have. And so basically if if I were to just highlight, copy, kind of get all this text and then come back over here to WordPress. Now, I have an option here that says paste from Word, or you can paste something directly from Word. I found that sometimes it still doesn't look right to me, um, even though the option is there, and there's even paste as plain text. Um, you certainly can use that as well. What I do is I like to use the HTML tab. So honestly, it doesn't really matter where I type it. As long as I paste it over here in the HTML side, it seems to paste it in there without any of the ex extra googly gawk, any of the extra uh, coding. So if I were to paste it in here, you see all of it's in here. Now I can flip it back over to the visual side and begin to make it look nice. I can put this up here. Any links that I want to, just move this up. I can turn this into more of a header and just kind of go through and make it my own. So can add, of course, some extra links and things. So uh, that is just kind of a simple way to show you how to do that. But make sure that you're not just directly copying and pasting from Microsoft Word into the visual side of the editor because it will start to cause some problems for you. So hope that tip is helpful. And if you have not yet signed up for the Blogging Your Passion University, the 101 course is a great place to start if you're a brand new blogger. You can just check that out. It's in the sidebar. Click on it and go check it out. And join many other new bloggers who have jumped in fully and learned the exact steps to take to build an audience and blog your passion.